morning everyone. It is Thursday morning. It is 8.08 in the morning and we are on our way to take Mozzie here to see Dr. Pearson at the Animal Surgical Center. Um, we have to be there at 8.15 so I'm driving. I'm not, I'm only going three over the speed limit. <laughs> I'm not going too fast but trying to get there. Um, so, uh, Mozzie sees Dr. Pearson, if you're a new subscriber, Mozzie sees Dr. Pearson due to uh, him having his gallbladder out um, some years ago, which um, when his gallbladder was bad, um, it caused him to also have um, hepatitis of the liver. Um, so she sees him due to his liver as well, and he has Cushing's disease. So, um, sorry about that, I was going over railroad tracks. Um, so we've changed his medication. We were having a problem with his liver enzymes being um, elevated really high. Um, so we've changed his medication for his Cushing's. He takes Trilistine. Um, and every time you change the dosage, you then have to um, get blood work done a month or two afterwards to see if it's working. And we had, uh, he, he was originally taking 18 milligrams once a day. We upped it to 20 milligrams. He had blood work done and showed improvement in his liver enzyme levels. So she wanted to up it again to 22 milligrams once a day. Um, so now we're doing that blood work again to check and see um, where his liver enzyme levels are. So, yeah, so it's early. All the dogs were fretting because they wanted to eat. <laughs> they were all fretting because they knew Mozzie was leaving and they were not going anywhere and he was. So they were screaming when I walked out the door. My husband's watching them. So, um, yeah, so we're here. I've got to call and check in. They're still doing where you call and check in when you get here. Um, so, oh, that doggy doesn't want to go in the door. <laughs> Poor dogs. You see so many poor dogs, especially with um, leg problems. I see a lot here at this uh, at the surgical center. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get off here, and we're gonna get checked in so we can get this appointment done with. Right, Maz? Right? You're not gonna look at me. He's like, "Where are we? I know where we are." Can you guys hear the birds? Let's see if I can zoom in. That tree has about 25 birds in it. I don't think you could see them. It sounds like spring out here. Oh, I think there's a hawk up there. They're all grouped together trying to get away from that hawk. It sounds like spring out here. Hope the wind's gonna blow. The wind's gonna blow. <laughs> Every now and then it gets real windy. There's tons of birds over here too. I walked out and I'm like, my goodness, it sounds like spring when all the birds come back from down south. Maybe they're migrating and this is a stop. So it's been several hours since I took Mozzie to the vet. Um, she's supposed to uh, either call or text me later. They had an emergency care, uh, emerg a critical care patient come in. So I messed up their whole morning. So they didn't get the blood work ran uh, for his liver panels. Um, while I was there, so they're gonna get with me later on today. I don't, I don't think I'll know the results of the stim test for his Cushing's until I think they send that out. I'm not, I'm not sure, I can't remember, but I should know the results of the Milo, Milo, no digging. <laughs> so Milo is the digger out of the bunch, yes, he is, isn't he, Mozzie? Miggy wants his ball. Let's kick it. Miggy's got a sock on his foot. 
when it's dry outside, I usually put um, this sock I found. I'll show it to you when I get in the house. Um, I think they're by Tiger Paw. Uh, Tiger Paw, I think, is the name of the brand. And it has like, this Velcro piece on it. Why are you having your foot in here? Why are you holding your foot in the air? He can walk on it. He's just being silly. Um, they stand his feet really good compared to some dog socks. Um, yeah, so when it's dry out, I take the cone off. Nick, you're going to fall off the stairs. There you go. Nope. <laughs> um, when it's dry out, I try to keep the cone off him so he doesn't have to wear the cone of shame so often and just have a sock on him. And then at night when it's wet and the dew, I have to put his cone back on. Milo! Milo! Milo Farrell! He knows he's naughty. You know you're a naughty schnauzer digging in the yard. You know you're naughty. Yes, you are. You're naughty. You're naughty boy digging. <laughs> so anyway, Grant's inside sleeping. He's in the inside. Uh, he's sleeping in the doorway of my bedroom. I'll get some video of him and share it here. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to um, clean up my kitchen. And hopefully she'll have gotten a hold of me before it's time to wrap this video up. And I can let you guys know how his liver enzymes are doing. Hopefully they're still coming down. Um, oh, I wanted to say a quick thank you to, uh, I don't think I thanked Paul. Paul sent a package. I sent him a thank you card, but I, I don't think I thanked him on video. He sent a package full of Halloween toys for the kitties and the dogs. Thank you so much, Paul. They loved all the toys. Um, thank you to Deborah. Uh, and Sherry for Mozzie's birthday gift that you sent. I got it in the mail the other day, but I'm holding on to it till Mozzie's birthday, which Mozzie's birthday is on the 16th. Mozzie will be 12 years old. You will be 12 years old, Mozzie. Yes, you will. <laughs> um, and Linda, thank you so much for the birthday card for Mozzie. Um, I got that the other day, yesterday actually. So thank you so much. Um, all right, I'll try to pop back on later today. Um, if I get the results, if not, um, maybe I'll continue this video on until tomorrow because I got vet appointments tomorrow too. I have to take Miggy to have his toenails looked at and I have to take Merlin to get a rabies shot. So um, we'll see how it goes the rest of the day. I almost forgot to share the socks I was talking about that Miggy had on. Well, the one sock, I should say. They are by Doc, I guess is the name, D-O-K. And they're called Tiger Toes. Uh, Doc Tiger Toes, anti-slip socks for dogs. Um, I had originally purchased a set of these for Grant, but he hates them and it's a pain in the butt to get them on and off. Um, like if it's raining out and wet, you don't want these on them because then they'll they'll get ruined, they'll get dirty, and you don't wanna have them dirty on their feet. So having to muzzle on them, taking them on and off and stuff, it's just, it was a pain. So I did keep them and this is actually the second pair I've purchased um, uh, since I've been putting them on Miggy. But uh, if you can see, I don't know if you can tell here, see that Velcro around there? That's what helps keep these on. These stay on perfect. They're, I've tried so many dog socks <laughs> that do not stay on their feet. And these work awesome. Um, I'll type on the screen here what size these are because I can't remember if these are a small. I think they're a small. Um... Yeah, it doesn't say on here. I'll have to look on my order on Amazon. I got them on Amazon. I'll link them down below too in the description box. Um, but I'm pretty sure they're a small. Um, 
These stay on so great. So if you have a dog that's having problems, if you've got wood floors, tile floors, and they're slipping as they've gotten older, these would look perfect. As you can see, it's got this like rubbery um, material on it. And it's on both sides. Um, it's too bad they couldn't make it go on the sides too, but there's not much of a gap there. Um, so they work great. If you read the reviews on it too, um, a lot of people say they work wonderful for their dogs and they wish they would have bought them sooner. So yeah, these work perfect for Miggy. They're breathable too. So they're not holding in because your dogs sweat through their feet. So it's not holding in moisture because they're very breathable too. So the paw's not going to get wet and moist. Um, now, this will not keep their feet dry by no means. That's why when it's wet outside, um, I could cover them. I could cover them up with some press and seal wrap um, to keep them dry. But I just take it off, let them go out when he comes back in, wait for his foot to dry, and I put it back on. So in between time when it's drying, I have to put the comb back on them. But these things stay on your dog's feet perfectly. So just wanted to share that. And like I said, I'll link them in the description box below. And if you want to check them out, if you're in need of some doggy socks that stay on your dog's feet, <laughs> these are perfect. All right, we'll be back. Excuse the leaves on the floor. My house is full of leaves because the dog's dragging them in on their feet. But Max, watch out. I want to share Miggy with his sock on. Yep. Stays on great, doesn't it, Miggy? <laughs> He's like, I wish I could get it off, but I can't. <laughs> Thanks, Miggy. Thanks for modeling. Well, I just got the call that Dr. Pearson is going to wait for the stem test results to come back um, tomorrow. And that way she can get a clear picture of everything um, before we decide on what we're going to do with medications and how we're going to move forward, basically. So, won't know any results till tomorrow. So, I'm going to end the video here. Here's Grant. He woke up. <laughs> so, he's just kind of wandering around the backyard. We've been having issues with him with his number twos lately. Um, having loose stools. And then having a problem getting him to go um he hasn't went since after dinner yesterday and it's about three o'clock today so it's almost been 24 hours so when i take in miggy and merlin tomorrow i'm going to talk to dr cocaine about uh mr grant and see if she um he has a prop he has a problem with the sunlight in that one eye too if you see any kind of flinched it's because the sun is behind me and when he kind of looks this way, it's bothering that the eye he does have. Because um, if you're a new viewer, Mr. Grant had to have his um, right eye removed. Um, so I need to talk to her about that too. So she's probably going to have me bring him in uh, to be seen too. So we'll see what she says. But I'm going to end the video here. Hope everybody's having a great day. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.